Hello, my name is Katie Smalley. I'm a registered nurse at Medical City Las Colinas. I provide preoperative education to our weight loss patients. I have also provided in-depth education to our nursing staff who will be taking care of you on the bariatric unit after surgery to ensure you receive the best care possible. I'm the friendly face that you'll be seeing pre-op on the day of surgery and each day that you're in our hospital after surgery. Today I would like to speak with you about what to expect before surgery, the day of surgery, and the first few days after surgery. About a week before surgery, you'll come to the hospital and meet with the PAT or the pre-admission testing nurse. During this appointment, the PAT nurse will ask you questions about your medical history, review your current medications, perform any last minute lab test, chest x-ray, or EKG if needed. This is for your safety. You will also meet with me so we can review what will be happening during your hospital stay and what to expect after you're discharged home in more detail. This is also a great opportunity to answer any last minute questions you may have. On the day of your surgery, you will check in with the concierge at Medical City Las Colinas at the time given to you at your PAT appointment. You will then be directed to one of our admission representatives for registration. This takes no more than five to 10 minutes because your information is pulled from your PAT appointment. After registration, you will be taken to a day surgery room where you will change into a hospital gown and the nurse will start your IV. The anesthesiologist will then come in and will explain the plan for your sedation during surgery. Answer any questions you or your support person may have about your sedation. Your surgeon will also visit to answer any last minute questions. Then it's off to surgery. You'll be taken to the OR room and your support person will be kept informed per text message when your surgery starts, when you go to the recovery room, and when you're ready to go to your room. The surgeon will also come out and speak with your support person at that time. Patients generally spend one to four hours in the recovery room. When your nurse is assured that you're awake and your pain is adequately controlled, you'll be transferred to a specially designed bariatric patient room. There you'll be cared for by nurses that have been specifically trained in how to care for bariatric patients. Generally, patients start taking fluids as soon as they reach their room. Please try your best to take the ice or sips of water as it is important to know you are able to tolerate fluids. The amount of fluid you consume will be meticulously tracked as this is important to meet discharge criteria. Remember to sip slowly as drinking too much too quickly can lead to nausea and vomiting. However, adequate fluid intake is critical as dehydration is the most common reason for hospital readmission after weight loss surgery. The ultimate goal for weight loss patients is to drink 64 fluid ounces every day. However, 40 ounces per day is acceptable the first one to two days after surgery. Controlling nausea and pain are of utmost concern to our nursing staff. Please let the nurses know if you're experiencing either one of these as there are medications available to help ensure you are nausea free and at a pain level that is tolerable. Ambulation, or more simply walking, helps prevent many post-operative complications, including pneumonia, blood clot formation, and definitely helps you recover much more quickly. It is important that you're out of bed and walking in the halls as soon as possible after surgery. Within the first one to two hours after surgery, I will come to your room to assist you out of bed and to walk in the halls. You should go for short, frequent walks at least every two hours while you awake and spend as much time sitting in the chair as possible. This is a routine that should be followed once you're at home as well. Gradually increase the amount of time you exercise each day. It is recommended that you exercise for at least 30 minutes, five times per week. Our registered dietitian will make a courtesy visit to answer any diet or vitamin and supplement questions you may have. Most patients will stay overnight and are discharged the next day after your surgeon is certain that you are able to successfully tolerate an adequate amount of fluids and that you're able to urinate without difficulty and your pain is well controlled. At the time of discharge, you will be given very specific instructions for managing your care at home and any questions you may have will be answered. These instructions will include medication orders with very specific information provided on all new prescriptions, activity restrictions, your doctor may limit how much you can lift for the first one to two weeks after surgery, no driving as long as you are taking pain medication, you may shower but no tub baths, hot tubs or swimming until all of the surgical incisions are healed. Your surgeon will tell you when it is safe for you to return to work. Generally, this depends on your type of surgery and your surgeon's preference. How to care for your incisions. Keep the surgical incisions clean and dry. Check the sites daily for signs of infection and report any signs of infection to your surgeon immediately. Diet instructions will be provided by your surgeon and the registered dietitian. When to schedule your first follow-up appointment. It is crucial that you keep all of the recommended follow-up appointments with your surgeon as monitoring your post-operative nutritional status through periodic lab work is essential to avoid post-operative malnutrition 
and to ensure your weight loss success. I will call you the day after you are discharged from the hospital to see how you are doing and to ask a few questions about the care you received while you were a, a patient at Medical City Las Colinas, as we are always looking for opportunities to improve the care we provide to our patients. You may also receive a phone call from the Press Ganey organization up to 45 days post-surgery. In addition to meticulously following your physician's orders, nutrition, and an exercise plan, having a great support system will be vital to your success. Having friends and family members that are supportive of your decision to have weight loss surgery will be very helpful. Support groups are another source of help, offering networking with others that are on the same journey as you. There are many support group options available in person as well as online. I facilitate the support group at Medical City Las Colinas. Our support group is open to anyone that is considering or has already had weight loss surgery, regardless of who performed the surgery or how long it has been since surgery. We meet on the third Monday of each month at 6 p.m. in the classroom two at Medical City Las Colinas. We have guest speakers, a registered dietitian to answer any nutrition questions, and time for networking along, among members. Please consider including a support group as part of your new lifestyle. I look forward to meeting you soon and being part of your weight loss journey.